Capricorn, let's do a collective reading. I hope you all are doing well. This will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have birth chart placements in Capricorn or you are dealing with someone that does, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through in the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all my extended readings. Click the join button below where you can find more information about joining in the description box. I will be hosting another collective ritual on August 8th. We will be utilizing the Lionsgate portal to manifest. If you would like to join us, check out the comment section for more information. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok for more collective readings. All right, Capricorn. Let's see, Capricorn. So we have four of wands. Okay. We have the king of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. We have the Eight of Wands. Somebody's going to be telling you they want to be with you. It could be a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Yeah. Someone's going to be reaching out to you and telling you they want to be with you. Yes, the star. They want, yeah. You're like, yeah. Hmm. It's like you're what they want in a person. You're what they've been desiring in a person. Clarify the four. Look at this. The Ten of Pentacles. This person wants to settle down with you. Clarify the King of Cups. The Hanged Man. Hmm. <clears throat> it could be a Pisces because we do have the King of Cups and we have the Hanged Man. It could be a Pisces or this person is, um, either they're releasing something, letting something go, or they're looking at something at it through a different perspective. Yeah, it's, this person's coming in quick with communication. Eight of Wands, Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy with the Knight of Swords. They're coming in to communicate with you quickly. We have the Chariot, Cancer energy. Yeah. Somebody wants to move forward with you because they feel like you've been with what they've been wishing for or hoping for. This looks so positive. Okay. All right. Tell me more. Let's look. look at this, guys. I love this. Six of Wands, Victory, Success. The world reaching a goal, a completion, an accomplishment, Libra energy. Justice. It's like you guys are successfully closing out some type of karmic cycle, or they are. Look at all these major. We have one, two, three, four, wait, four, five, five major arcanas out here. Big changes headed your way. Yeah, I feel like somebody's finally closing out, successfully closing out some type of or overcoming some type of karmic lesson or karmic cycle. Libra energy. Balance is being restored. Yeah, see, we have the Nine of Wands. See, somebody is ready to like, if they've been a player or they've been single, they've been exploring options. Um, They're ready to kind of, I think, it's like somebody's ready to settle down. They're not wanting to look anymore. They feel like they've, they've seen all that they needed to see. And they feel like you are it. What's the tower though? Scorpio energy. They could be a little bit unstable. Well, we do have the King of Pentacles here. You guys could be, oh, you guys could be closing out a karmic cycle with an earth sign, a Taurus or a Capricorn who you went through a tower moment with, who was a player, who you've been learning karmic lessons from this person. Yeah, tell me more about it. See, Queen of Wands. Look at the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Wands here? The High Priestess, Pisces energy. And what about the Queen of Swords? The Nine of Cups. What? The Ten of Cups. And the Wheel of Fortune. And the Ace of Cups. Somebody could be making a decision between two people. Of course. Yeah, somebody could be making a decision between two people. But you may not know this with the High Priestess. You may have a feeling. Your intuition may be telling you that. But somebody's like... What they thought they wanted or it's changing now. Something's changing with the Wheel of Fortune here. Somebody's choosing to go towards the new love. They feel like that's where their fulfillment lies, not with in another situation. What does this have to do with Capricorn, though? With this, these two, the Hierophant, all right? And 
The, see, I'm telling you, you guys have learned some type of lesson and you're ready to move on. The Hierophant and the Six of Swords, you've learned the spiritual lesson. Congratulations, Six of Wands. You've learned the lessons. Now it's time to move on. Now it's time to move into calmer waters. It's been rough. You went through a tower moment. Tell me more. Tell me more. Yep, I just saw the Eight of Cups. You're walking away from something. There's been some type of tension. See, King of Wands. Why is it? What about the King of Wands? Be careful of somebody coming towards you trying to fight with you or trying to intimidate you, egotistical. Yeah, somebody is somebody else is coming towards you too, but they're trying to fight with you. They feel like they feel defeated or they want to try to get the upper hand. They're playing games. They're telling you it's time to, this person is really not, they want to sleep with you and they just are playing games. It's time to go in a different direction, Spirit says. Yes, confirmation, 10 of wands, close out this cycle. So let's tell me more about what this means for Cap. Yeah, yeah, four of swords. I think you guys have withdrawn from this person. You're just been taking some time to heal from what you went through with somebody. Yeah, they put you through a lot. Nine of swords. They put you through a lot of turmoil. Tell me more. The page of wands. They're very immature. What about the page of wands? The ace of wands. And the ten of swords. But the ten. It could have been very passionate. And then it just led to a lot of pain. And it's like... There could be a lot of passion still between you and this person, a lot of desire, but it's just almost like too much has happened or something like that with the Ten of Swords. Like they've done too much to you. So it don't matter if you, you're still attracted to them. Yeah, Four of Cups on the back of the deck. Somebody's feeling like they missed an opportunity. Or you're somebody's like looking elsewhere because too much has happened in this. Yeah, they've done too much. Three of Swords. Too much heartbreak, too much pain. Yeah, the sun, but I feel like things are going to be, you may have been heartbroken over this other person, but I feel like things are about to look up for you or get, be like, head in a positive direction for you with the sun, Leo energy. Yeah, the seven of pentacles and the empress. You've been investing in yourself. You've been healing. Yeah, the empress Taurus energy. Yeah, you guys have been healing. Something's been coming towards you. It's coming towards you slow. Yeah, you guys may feel like when it comes to new love and getting a solid offer from somebody, it's been coming in very slowly. Um, but spirit is say, says that it was, it was, it, it happened this at this pace because they really wanted you to take some time to really water your own garden, invest in yourself, heal. You needed to heal. Okay. Tell me more. Yeah. But you, it's like by healing and working on yourself and investing in yourself, you've been becoming more equipped for this new beginning in love that's coming in for you to handle a relationship better than you handled it in the past to move better like you know it's just it's been equipping you right but something has been manifesting as you heal it's like if something's been coming closer and closer to you um what about the seven of cups the, see somebody can't get out of their head they're confused two of cups yeah this was you well king of swords and the fight yeah this person somebody was manipulating the hell out of you that's all i can say somebody you were dealing with was like they kept selling you a dream or like telling you things but it was just an illusion telling you you guys were going to be together they loved you they wanted to be with you like somebody was trying to keep you stuck in your head yep playing games try to keep you stuck by playing games with you selling you a dream but i feel like you guys are able to see past this now yeah tell me more we have the, yeah, you've learned the lesson. Page of Swords, you can see. You can see what you didn't see before. Yeah, the lovers, Gemini energy, and the devil. See, for some of you, though, this could be your twin, or you have some type of soul tie or something with this person with the devil and the lovers here. Some of you guys may be confused. Like, what is this person to me? Why has it been so hard for me to let them go? Why is, what has been the purpose of this connection? Yeah, what about the Knight of Cups, the Two of Swords? What is this about? The Hermit. Somebody's watching you. Yeah, somebody's observing you or they're watching you. They're, they haven't 100% made up their mind about taking action towards you just yet. But this person's coming towards you with some type of like offer. They're doing a lot of thinking about it. Temperance energy. And the yeah, they're trying to like balance out their emotions. Maybe they're trying to just balance out their life. Temperance, Two of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. They're just trying to like maybe get their finances balanced out. Just become more stable. What else is important for them to know right now? What else is important for them to know? 
yeah the eight of pentacles yeah somebody's definitely like working or see eight of swords and the four of swords somebody's just like working and doing a lot of thinking somebody's like very work focused but they're doing a lot of thinking about something yeah five of pentacles strength Leo energy this somebody okay somebody feels left out in the cold by you or something like that or yeah ace of pentacles wow can you guys imagine somebody is literally upset it's like they're at work or they're it's like they're, they're literally at work up in their head thinking about how you're pulling back from them they feel like you're abandoning them you have enough strength now to hold back from them or leave them out in the cold walk away from them and all they can think about they're obsessing about you getting this ace of pentacles but it's like they won't give it to you they won't give you this so solid stable offer why not because they're toxic because we have the devil that could also just be them obsessing over you but why won't they give this to you Oops, the two of wands the king of wands and the nine of pentacles yeah the knight of pentacles or this could be this this new one too somebody is thinking about how they want to offer you something but they're not doing it maybe they still need to free themselves from something or they need to work on their stability or their finances or something like that i just kind of see somebody taking their time with coming toward you tell me more we have the nine of wands yeah they're like at the end of a cycle yeah it's like the the new beginning in love is close but i feel like they haven't quite closed it out yet because we have the nine of wands here we did have the 10 earlier so they are very close so what's keeping them from closing out this cycle Ooh, the seven of swords and the five of cups the lovers there's what is it with the seven of swords though the ten they are still they're like not how do i say this they have trust issues or something this person has been betrayed or hurt too maybe they want to make sure that they're sure about something i don't know it's like this person is a little bit afraid that you're they're thinking about how other situations didn't work out hmm or how somebody hurt or betrayed them. Or so what's that have to do with you? Nothing. It doesn't have anything to do with you. Three of cups. And the, yeah, this person is trying to see something about you. Maybe this person is trying to be friends with you first. Because we have the three of cups, the page of swords, and the two of cups. Somebody's trying to like friend zone you or something. To like kind of really make sure that you are who you say you are. Or that you're somebody that they want to. And how's that working out for them? How's them friend zoning you working out? The seven of wands and the five. I don't think it's working out well. I'm gonna be honest. It's making you th it's making you feel like you, yeah, with the queen of pentacles here, it's making you feel like you need to like block this person out or put your guard up with them because you think they're playing games with you. Yeah, nine of cups and the hermit and the temperance card. It's like they're really thinking about what is what they want, but it's like I feel like this person needs to tell you. They need to be more expressive with you about what they're what's going through their head like because I feel like you're feeling like you need to like block this person or like cut them out because you don't hmm the two of wands and the page yeah yeah the seven of swords yeah and the ten of swords yeah you think this person's playing games with you yeah, you think this person's playing games with you. Yeah, Nine of Cups, Temperance. You do want something with this person. You're, you've been trying to be patient or something, but yeah, the Three of Swords and the Six of Swords. Yeah. Some of you guys know that they're still not over something or somebody else. And you've just been trying to give them the time and the space to handle their shit. And, but I do feel like you do desire something with this person. Um, let's get some oracles. It's like they're going to rush in at some time. Let's see about this. So I see what's going on, but what's up with this Eight of Wands, Knight of Swords, the Star, and the Chariot? 
how are we getting to that point? How are we getting to the point of progress? Quick progress at that. Survival. See, time to reset your mindset to thrive and let go of old coping mechanisms that, that are keeping you at status quo. See, fears, pressure, coping, and stress. Somebody is still like... They're moving with you in a way that they don't need, they don't have to. They don't have to protect themselves from you. They don't have to guard themselves from you. We have C baby steps, wants to take things slow and that's fine, right? And it says slow progress, little wins, small advances, starting small, no hurry, dragging their feet. Yeah. We have a fresh start, though. This new chapter will require you to take a leap of faith. See, I told you, it's like I see them moving very slow, and then boom, they want to. They're gonna want to move things ahead like really quick. In the process, which is in front of you, new beginning, new possibilities. In balance, though, there is an unequal power dynamic in a situation that needs to be brought back to balance. Unequal unfairness and conflict. Why is imbalance here? Say, okay, there is an upcoming opportunity for you to move or travel. Enjoy this new adventure. But why imbalance, though? What's the imbalance? Unlikely source? Or it's just conflict between you and somebody? Or there's just like a, hmm. Wonderful things can happen in everything around you, even from some of the most unexpo unexpected sources, unexpected and unconsidered. Foreigner. Leaving all that is familiar. Differences, stranger, exotic, unfamiliar, estranged, overseas, visitor, unconnected, indifferent. Maybe they're having conflict somewhere. Where is this imbalance at? Well, we have real love. Oh, true feelings worth exploring. Mutual feelings, mature love, heartfelt, fast love, special health. Well, what does that do with imbalance though? Online, looking for love online. Hmm. Feeling deeply. So somebody has feelings for you. Like they do. So what's the problem? What's the, what is the issue here? Because I'm not quite getting it yet. Ma they feel drawn to you. Yeah, a magnetic force surrounds you. You're being given the power to manifest your dreams into reality. Okay, so what's the hold up here? Hid see hidden secrets. Careful of superficial appearances are making this. This person thinks you're not who you say you are or something. They're afraid that you're not who you, who they think you are or something like that. What is up with, um, unlikely source, sacred traveler communication. So you will hear from this person saying what, what is this communication that's coming in about? Okay. I just dropped half the deck breaking molds. That somebody wants to try to do things differently yeah unexpected whatever this is it's gonna happen like what is this unexpected with it's like that knight of swords eight of wands energy what are they not going to be expecting spirit a conversation someone's going to be honest with you about something what is it that they're going to be honest about whatever this conversation is that's coming in them being honest with you is going to lead to this eight of wands and knight. whatever this knight of swords is is leading to this eight of wands this this momentum keep the momentum going whether big or small steps keep pushing for what you want fast haste charging ahead what is the nature of this conversation Ooh, see they're going to tell you that they were dealing with somebody else or that somebody had other options or something like that or do they think you're exploring other options and that's making them want to let's see third party outside interference open relationship casual dating no commitment and unfaithful what about that Triggers, yeah, they have something going on. Yeah, some type of challenging karmic situation, lessons, unhealthy, pushing, or they're going to tell you why they've been acting the way that they have been with you, why they've been feeling so guarded, why they did whatever they did. It, yeah, that's why they've been unsure of you because of some something that has nothing to do with you, some type of karmic or challenging connection that they were in before. I do feel like this person is a little bit afraid to get out of their comfort zone. Even though their comfort zone doesn't look very healthy. We have conquering though. Do what did I say? Six of Wands energy. Victory will be yours. Set your intention and watch it come back to you. We have between worlds and risk. See, somebody is like kind of like been in limbo, like not like one foot in, one foot out the door of a situation or not quite ready to completely let something go. But I see it's like they're going to decide to make that decision at some point. Like they're going to be like, all right, I'm done with the past. I'm going to, I'm fully ready for this new situation. 
yeah, they're going to take a chance on you. Leap of faith, playing with fire, a lot at stake, facing fears and gambling, which is leading to them. They're like, let's settle down. See, it says your time is now. You're at the right place at the right time. You have to do what you're meant to do. Ready, time sensitive and act now. Somebody feels like they have to offer this to you soon, like quickly, but they feel like they're on a time frame to offer this to you. Yeah, what is this? See, epiphany. The answers will come. Revelation, discovery, vision, realization, inspiration, insight, enlightenment, hint, and guidance. And they're realizing what? Walking unscathed. You are fortunate. A trap was laid out for you. Did somebody try to get over on them? See, they may realize that somebody was tricking them or manipulating them. Yeah, a trap was laid out for you, but you were too smart to fall for it. Give me one more card. Epiphany. See? in marriage wedding bells so they're gonna also maybe realize that another situation hasn't been working out for them or this is you take out resonates because they were meant to meet you like it was a blessing in disguise that something else hasn't been working out or whatever because like you're they were look at this heart and key it is they found you and it's safe for them to love you open to love perfect match meeting the one yeah they're gonna real somebody's realizing that it wasn't working out with this karmic because they're not supposed to be with this karmic easy to love like yeah love doesn't have to be hard it can be easy compliment each other yeah finances see maybe you and this person make like some like you guys are both pretty abundant you both make pretty good money or something like that yeah, that's been coming out a lot. And we have good, it says blessed connection. So maybe you and this person coming together, well, you guys will be very blessed together. Sometimes your purpose and your abundance is literally linked to another person. So I'm not saying you can't be successful without them, but you can reach a whole new level of success that you can never reach when you come into union with who you're supposed to be with in this lifetime. And that's like what this is giving me. Like you guys could already be abundant on your own, but the two of you coming together, you'll reach a level of abundance that you probably never thought you would ever have or success. Okay. So I am going to take this over to the extended reading so we can take a deeper look at the situation. Um, the link will be in the description box or you can join my channel to get access to all my extended readings. Um, if you would like to join us in manifesting on the Lionsgate portal, which is on um, August 8th. There will be information posted in the comment section about how you can join us. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok for more collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you in the extended reading. Bye.